Hello Gemini and welcome to the channel and welcome to your monthly reading for October 2021. I hope y'all are doing great. You guys are in good health, good wealth. And I hope that when you watch this reading, this video, that if you have any questions that they'll be clarified and if there's anything you need to be com confirmed, that I'll do that in this reading. But Keep in mind, it is a general reading, so it may not resonate with you, but I do believe Spirit brought you here for a reason. Let's get started, okay? Before we get into the tarot, I'm going to use my Oracle deck, my Goddess Oracle deck, to ask your spirit guides, your angels or ancestors, or whomever it is that you resonate with on a spiritual level that's on the other side, to come through and give us a message for what you truly need to hear at this moment. Spirit, what does Gemini need to hear? What does Gemini need to hear at this moment? So we have two cards. We have two messages for you, Gemini. We have Bridget or Bridget, 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 with don't back down. And we have Coventina with purification, okay? And Bridget says, stand up for what you believe is right. And when I look at Bridget or Bridget, I see this um, this fire that she has near her heart. So that tells me that there's a truth that you hold near and dear to your heart. And there may be someone who's trying to maybe question that truth or maybe make you question that truth or go against what your boundaries are and your truth. And Spirit is saying here with Bridget, don't back down, don't back down. Don't stand up for what you believe is right. And don't let anyone tell you the, the, the sky is purple and you know damn well that shit is blue, okay? Then I see Coventina with purification. And she says, it is time for a cleansing and de detoxification of your body and your mind. Okay? So a lot of you guys may be, it may be a actual detoxification where y'all need to detox your intestines, your body. Okay, for some of you guys, it may be just an energetic thing where you've been maybe around certain people. It could be at work. It could be in a relationship. And Spirit is saying here, it is time to let go of certain things and allow your body to heal from these things. Allow your body, your mind, your body, and your spirit to heal from this, okay? Now, let's get into the tarot. Get six cards for what is going on with you this month. What's the energy? What do we need to know for Gemini October 2021? Who is this person backing up in my driveway? Okay, so the King of Wands. Some of you guys are uh, involved with a fire sign, a Leo, an Aries, or Sagittarius. Okay. And you're feeling right now with the hangman card, you're feeling like um, you're holding on to this situation, um, but you're halfway in and halfway out. Then we got the five of swords here, and I feel like you're in between yourself. You're not sure if you want to continue with this person or with this situation. It could be a, a king of wands could represent also, you know, your business or a job that you were once very passionate about, okay? I try to read these as general as I can, okay? I do feel like with the Nine of Cups coming in here that this is something that you really wanted to work out. You were very, very happy and there's moments where you are happy, but then you go back to the Five of Swords energy where you're not happy. So it's like in and out. It's like very short-lived the happiness here, okay? I feel like this is someone from your past. Or it could be that this is someone that you have history with, okay? Either you've been in a relationship with this person for some time or they're, they've returned and you're just like, I don't know how, if I wanna deal with this person. Yeah, or if I should just walk away from this situation, okay? Now, before I show you the cards, I'm just going to clarify them just so that this video isn't like 30 minutes long, okay? Let's clarify that King of Wands here. Who is this King of Wands and what do we need to know about him? King of Wands. The King of Wands is someone who knows how to charm your pants off with the Magician card here. I mean, this person is willing to do whatever and say whatever they can to get in good graces with you and to kind of 
make things go their way, manipulate the situation maybe. Yeah, the Knight of Wands, and then the Knight of Wands here. This person could be, you know, someone, again, I like to call the Knight of Wands, uh, call him the fuckboy card. Um, because he's very, very attractive, but he's on a horse. So, like, I know you're, like, running around, and you're just, you may be telling that to everyone, okay? What else do we need to know? Let's get another message there. One fell. Okay. Then we have the Seven of Cups here. Yeah, so this is um, what I get from this situation is that you feel this person. And we start itching whenever I start doing readings. It's so weird. So we have the King of Wands here, okay? Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy. And this person is, is a flirt, okay? And you feel like this person has a lot of options, okay? Or you may have a lot of options. And this is someone who's maybe one of the options, but their energy is sticking out the most, okay? Um, and so you feel like this person has a lot of options. They're a flirt. And with the Magician card here, they really know how to charm your... Oh, sorry. The Magician card here, they know how to charm your pants off. And this is because this person will say what they need to say. And it doesn't mean that they're necessarily... They're coming from a bad place or that it's in disingenuous. We'll see as we keep going. But as of right now, what I see is this person is has a lot of options or you feel like they have a lot of options and you feel like they're pursuing you, okay? They're flirting with you, they're in contact with you, I mean the magician card, they wanna give you emotions, they wanna spend money on you, they wanna have conversations and intellectual conversations, they wanna be passionate with you, they wanna be physical with you, okay? And with the hangman card here, you're just like, eh, I don't really know, I don't really know how I feel about this situation. Let's clarify the hangman card. Yeah, so we have the Seven of Swords that just came out, just flew out, okay? And the Seven of Swords, what I see is a guy there with a sword, it, it, sorry, not the Seven of Swords, the Five of Swords here. This is someone who, it's so crazy because your next card is the same exact card. This is someone who is conflicted and this is someone who feels defeated and tired, okay? So I feel like a lot of you guys may have history again with this person and you're just like, I don't know if I wanna give this person another chance. I don't know if I wanna let this person back in my, you know, my atmosphere, um, in my equilateral. I don't even know if that's a word. It might be, I mean, it's not. But you don't wanna know, you're not really sure if you wanna let this person into your personal space yet. Um, and I feel like it's because you're conflicted and a lot of you guys have either history with this person where they've been kind of, um, you know, they come and go, they, they, they show their ass, they show they're interested and then they don't follow up is what I'm getting, okay? But I do feel like a lot of you guys, again, have history with this person or you have felt from the past that people have wasted your time and now you're just like, all right. Are you serious or are you just bullshitting? Are you are, are you in it or are you like just here for the moment? Is it like a thing or is it like a fling? What is it, okay? So that's why you have that in and out energy coming out of that hangman card. You're kind of like trying to assess the situation. You're not completely cutting the tie that's holding you onto that tree, but you're not completely um, not cutting the tie either. So it's like you're still there. You're in between. Let's keep clarifying that. This is a long deck. Yeah, it's a long deck. <laughs> I wish I could make this shit up, y'all. The hangman card. So you are holding on to this situation, okay? You are holding on to this situation, and I'm really strongly getting a lot of you guys have history with this person. And some of you guys may have had like a full-blown relationship with this person, and this may be like, okay, I'm giving this person another chance or thinking about it. And some of you guys, I feel like it may have been a situation where you really liked this person, but like every time they come around, they never follow up. They never keep it serious or consistent enough to where you can take them serious. And I feel like you wanted to take them serious you've been you wanted to make it work but you're just like okay are you gonna do the same shit you always do but this person guys we are met mercury retrograde and there's six planets in retrograde right now 
And so people tend to come back in, in, uh, during this time and it will be happening until October 17th. So I would say about October 20th, that's when like the funky vibes will change, but people are just coming out the woodworks. And I feel like that may be the situation here, okay? You know, the holidays are coming. Um, boo loving season is coming because it's cold outside. So someone wants, you know, the people want, they want somebody to keep it warm during the summer, during the war, the, the winter with, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like here you're holding on to the situation. I feel like you're conflicted with giving this person time, but you, you still have a thing for them. Okay. And then we go into that five of swords, another deck giving us the five of swords. I mean, I don't know if we need more clarification, but just for formality, let's Five of Swords. Let's clarify this Five of Swords. Why are you conflicted here? Yeah, Eight of Pencil, uh, Eight of Cups here. You're wondering, am I going to be left high and dry, or is this person is going to run away like they always do? Are they going to stay here and actually commit? Are they going to show me that my time is valuable, just like I find their time and their energy valuable, or am I going to left? be left here trying to figure out whether I gave too much emotion and I, now I feel vulnerable and stupid here, okay? Wow, okay. But with the Nine of Cups here, I do feel like there's that hope of like, you know, I do kind of want to see what's going on here. Um, but I'm not, again, I'm not really sure. You, you're in a good place on your own. You don't need this person at all, okay, is what I'm getting. You don't need this person, especially if this person has put you through some bullshit in your life and if this person hasn't honored your time and your divinity like you as a person and yeah if they, they haven't then maybe it's not you know but we'll see why is the nine of cups showing up here nine of cups is you're independent you don't need anyone you know but it's also like you know i would like to reach the ten of cups that happiness that family card you know so i'm i'm open to see what you gotta say but i don't need you energy so let's see, why is this, let's I see this card coming out. Yeah, the chariot card here. You're willing to move forward with confidence with this person if this person steps up is what I'm getting from that.